Hello friends and welcome back to this series. Uh, this is the last video in this series where we are looking at how we create uh, a, a notes application .NET MAUI. Uh, in this video we will be looking at uh, pull to refresh in .NET MAUI. Let's jump right into the video. So in the last video we look at passing uh, data to the next page. Uh, when you, you know, click on an item you are able to pass data to the next page. Now in this in this video we'll look at um, pull to refresh. So what we want to do is when we add a new note to this page, uh, we want to be able to pull this page down and then refresh it. All right. So um, we're going to start from the view model. So let's go to the all notes view model. And in the all notes view model, we're going to create um, we're going to create a we're going to create a command. And that command is going to call refresh command. All right, so let's avoid refresh, refresh. And then what we want to do in this command is actually very simple. Uh, we already have a method that say get notes. So uh, we're going to call this method to just say get notes. And that's basically it. However, if you want to, the, the, the control that we want to use needs a property and the property is called, uh, is refreshing. So let's just create an observable collection here, observable uh, property, observable property, um, observe, let's just type observable property. And then we're going to call this, it's going to be a boolean, a bool, not book, bool is refreshing. And this is going to be uh, what we control the is freshing uh, property of the uh, control. So what we'll just do here is at this point, just say is refreshing, we set it to true. Because it's currently refreshing, so in, in the case we have I, you know, this is going to um, to the remote server. It's calling an API and then refreshing. So you set the refreshing to, to to true, and when the operation is done, you can set the is refreshing back to false. So that means all that means the data is available to be to be shown, and that's that's it. All we need to do in the V model. So what we need to do now is to go to the uh, all all notes page and that's where we want to actually do uh, the refresh now to do that we, we have to make um, a refresh view the parent uh, control here so I'm going to wrap this up in um, let me just say tag so instead of making it a grid I'm going to change this to refresh view and this refresh view uh, let's just give it some uh, Properties of horizontal option is fill and expand. Vertical option is fill and expand. And then we're going to set the refresh color. Refresh color. Uh, let's set it to a static resource. Uh, that will be primary. That is our primary color uh, for this app. And then we want to set the uh, command. We want to set a command to the command that we just created. So command, let's say binding. Uh, that was going to be the refresh command. And lastly, we're going to set the is refreshing property and bind that to the is refreshing property that we created. So I'm going to save this. So now I'm going to run this now. So what we'll do is we'll, we're going to add um, a note to the database, and then we'll come back to this to you know this page and refresh. So let's wait for this to load, and then we'll come. We'll see the results. All right. So the application is currently uh, running, and then we will navigate to the whole notes page. So see whole. This is all notes page. So now let's add. Uh, and a note. So this, let's just say, a note to test refresh. 
this is just a node to test refreshing review and then just by just gonna let me just add an image to it um they have this flower and then save now if you look at it we are back on this page and then there's nothing showing here so if i pull down on this page you can see the refresh actually showing and you can see the color that we that we that we uh, you know ask for it now if i scroll up you can see now this is the this is the uh, note that we've just added to the page all right so that's it guys we've come to the end of this uh video we've come to the end of this series uh we've looked at different concepts uh while developing the the, the notes application in dotnet maui if you have not checked out any of the videos that we've done before uh please use the link in the description to go to the videos so you can see where we're coming from and and how we've been able to uh use different concepts in dotnet maui to develop this application i hope you've enjoyed this video please give it a, a thumbs up like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video